Welcome back to Ozark Garage. Today we're talking about mufflers for the Truggy and some of the challenges with selecting a muffler for an off-road rig. The biggest challenge in my opinion is size. So with an off-road rig, you're always worried about clearance. And so you want a muffler that doesn't take up a bunch of space, doesn't hang below the chassis, and is kind of smooth so it moves over rocks and other obstacles without hanging up and breaking the exhaust or just stopping you from moving forward. My current favorite is a Jones Turbo Tube. So the Jones Turbo Tube looks like a glass peck in a lot of ways, but it's not. So a glass pack, if you ever look through one, you can see straight through. Because it's a straight through design, it's got a lot of flow, so it's great for performance, but it is really loud. You know, multiple days on the trail, I'm not one who wants to wear earplugs, so I've swapped out pretty much all the glass packs on my rigs for something a little bit quieter. So as you can see, the Jones Turbo Tube here is about the same size and shape as a glass pack, but it's got multiple baffles and chambers inside with tubes connecting them, so it is quite a bit quieter. This is not a performance muffler, if you will, because it's not a straight through design. There's no fiberglass packing in here. This muffler does drone, but like I said, given the size and space and weight constraints I'm working with here, I prefer this over the glass pack almost every time. Um, I previously had a smaller version on the Truggy. As you can see, this muffler's taken a few beatings and it slid over some rock. Uh, I swapped it out later on for a larger one, which has more internal volume and is noticeably quieter in my opinion. So while I am a big fan of the Jones Turbo Tube, the one complaint I have is with the internal build construction. The internal baffles and tubes are just kind of tack welded in place and they haven't proven to be very durable. So I have this exact same make and model on the Truggy right now. And last year in Moab, it started developing a really, really annoying rattle, like a buzzing metal on metal sound from in the muffler. So I went to a hardware store in Moab and I got some sheet metal screws and started sheet metal screwing around to try to lock everything in place. It worked, believe it or not. I made it through the rest of the trip, but I want to replace it before I head out there again because I don't want screws falling out of the muffler. So what I'm going to do to prevent that from happening again is I'm going to cut the ends off the muffler here so I can weld those baffles in more securely and then I'll put the muffler back together before installing in the Truggy. So with the end cap off, you can really see the internal construction. And you can see it's mostly just tack welded in a few spots. Not hard to see at all why these pop loose. At the end of the day, it's a pretty inexpensive muffler. Uh, still worth it to use in my opinion, but I'm going to fully burn this in here, make it a little bit stronger for next time. So now I've got the inside welded up the way I want, and really I'm just looking to strengthen everything and flare out those tubes to improve exhaust flow. I'm gonna use this piece of aluminum channel that I had in the scrap pile just to align the halves while I weld it back together. Previously I had speakers mounted in these open air mounts in the Truggy, and because there's no back, they sounded terrible. So I figured, why not make an actual speaker box for them? So all I've done here is cut out some 063 aluminum that I had sitting around in the scrap pile, bent it in the brake, and cut some holes for the speakers, and I'm going to go ahead and TIG weld it into a complete speaker box. It may seem kind of silly to spend all this time and effort making something as simple as a speaker box, but I find little projects like this fun, and they're a great way to keep your welding skills sharp, because ultimately, if you can't weld together a speaker box and something that really doesn't matter, well then how are you going to expect to weld something like a fuel cell that does matter?
Okay, so I got the new muffler installed in the Truggy, and the only other thing I did to the exhaust was added a piece of flex up by the downpipe. Last year in Moab, the uh, exhaust cracked from the downpipe to the header and fell off on the last day. And then if you're curious about the heat shielding that's on the exhaust, it's from a company called Heat Shield Products. Great name, I know, right? Um, it's a fiberglass insulation with an aluminum backing. Works great. Uh, before the floorboards of the Truggy would get to a couple hundred degrees. Um, on an all day trail, I tried metal heat shields, nothing else worked. Uh, so I wrapped the entire exhaust from the downpipe back, including the catalytic converter with that stuff. And now the floorboard is cool to the touch. It works great. Downside is it's probably holding moisture against it and rusting out the exhaust. But that's the trade off to not have your feet being burned on the trail. Um, the only other thing to do is to uh, road test the exhaust and the new speaker box, as you can see here. So if we kick on the key right now, uh, the cooling fans will kick on, and then this will eventually kick on. We'll hear some music. I don't know how well that sounds across the microphone, but we're going to test it on the road here. And I apologize in advance because it's probably going to be loud and windy, and I've never done this in the Truggy before. I'm going to fire up the Truggy here, and I should be able to get it up to about 60 miles an hour and see how loud these speakers are. And that's where I'm actually going to cut off the sound, simply because it's too loud, too windy, too much noise, and unfortunately I'm not good enough at this to filter that out properly. So I'll just go ahead and say, speaker box worked great, it's louder than the wind noise, and it sounds way way better than it did before in the open air speakers, you can actually hear the music on the road, and it'll have great music on the trail too. Thanks for watching, please consider liking or subscribing, if you have any questions post them in the comments below, we'll see you next time.